This is a quick video to share something that is changing with Adobe Creative Cloud in 2024. Now I'm creating this video at the very end of 2023 and Adobe has announced that they will be discontinuing their Creative Cloud synced files service starting on February the 1st of 2024. And I've been telling people about this and I'm noticing that it's universally confusing, which is completely understandable. I don't think Adobe's doing the best job of explaining this to us. So I'm gonna try and clarify this. First of all, if you use cloud documents, don't worry. Cloud documents are the files that you create when you use Illustrator on the iPad or Fresco, or if you save files from the desktop apps like Photoshop and Illustrator to the cloud, these are the ones with the cloud icon in the tab. Those are not changing, so don't worry about those. What is changing is this little folder that Adobe places on your system. Not everybody uses it, but it's like their version of Dropbox or Google Drive. It's a place where you can store any kind of file and share it with others. The folder itself is named Creative Cloud Files, and the service is called Creative Cloud Synced Files, and this is what's being discontinued. So I'm gonna place a link below the video that takes you to Adobe's page with all the details. In my Creative Cloud files, I've got some brushes shared by Dave Clayton that I wanna make sure I put those in a safe place. Here's a shared folder that I was working on a client project with. So really all of these files here are going to stay locally on my system. When this transition happens, Adobe says that this folder creative cloud files is just going to have a new name, but it's still going to be there locally on your system. It just won't be saved in the cloud. Now I use Dropbox and I use other ways of sharing files with people. So I'm just gonna make sure that I move these files and folders in time before this happens on February the 1st of 2024. So that could be as simple as dragging it to another location. And if you need to share it, then of course, depending on the service you're using, you have to create another share link. Now I'm on a Mac, but if you wanna find this folder on Windows, the directory path is listed in Adobe's documentation, which you can find at the link below the video. Now, if you want to locate this in the Creative Cloud desktop app, you'll just go over here to the left navigation and down to files. Here we can see under your files, these are all of my cloud documents. These are mostly from Fresco and Illustrator on the iPad and a few from Express. And these are not affected by this change. There is a link to the sync folder right here. This is totally separate, but when you click on it, it takes you to the folder on your system. I'll just close that for now. And here under shared with you, these are other kinds of shared documents. So we have share for review, we have libraries that we can share, and then of course cloud documents that we can share with others. So for example, if I open up Illustrator again, share for review is something that you can access by using this blue button here. And then you can also gather comments and read them here at this comments icon. And neither of these features, Share for Review and Cloud Documents, neither of these are affected by this change to Creative Cloud Synced Files. But it's understandable with all these different types of files that are in the cloud, how this can be confusing. Now I'll just close this and go back to the Creative Cloud app. We also don't have to worry about our libraries. Libraries contain assets that we save when we're using Photoshop, Illustrator, Capture, or really any Adobe app. They're accessible between apps, and that is also separate from Creative Cloud synced files. So don't worry about your libraries. They're not affected by this change. All right, well, I hope that clears up any confusion. My name is Laura Coyle. I make videos about Adobe Illustrator, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. To find out more about my teaching, see my website at lauracoylecreative.com, and thank you for watching.